Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 7 of the 4th season of Sinfo Gear today and it was really nice to see all of those moments with Maria and the whole meaning behind them as well um, and now they finally have the last piece they needed um, to be able to create uh, more linker and uh, uh, those girls are actually already using it so now it's definitely going to be um, really good uh, like the fact that they uh, are able to fight uh, without um, any problems or without having that uh, uh, sync rate uh, uh, problem Problem. Um, but yeah, I'm still really curious about um, these Illuminati and uh, uh, more details about um, what they're planning uh, on doing because uh, it's still not um, like uh, very clear, at least uh, um, related to these um, three girls, so the, the alchemists. Um, but yeah, since um, like uh, considering how the uh, previous episode um, uh, ended with uh, uh, them like these girls asking for uh, some answers uh, as well. Um, I'm assuming that this one is uh, maybe going to uh, reveal uh, more um, information, uh, like uh, about their objectives and stuff. So definitely can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen during uh, um, this episode. So hope you guys are ready and let's start it. And it's once again related to the moon, so... It's been a thing since the start, almost. This. And I really appreciate all of you guys trying to explain everything to me. I mean, in the end, this is still really complex, everything that is involved and stuff. So I really appreciate you guys explaining as much as possible. It really helps. But yeah, it's still uh, hard to memorize everything. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. But I'm really enjoying it, so... And this season feels like um, a lot of pieces coming together. So I believe the Illuminati, they were like always a thing. And there was these other parties related to them. Or like getting help from them, more like that. Doing some of these things. And now they are getting involved themselves. Yeah, it's really good that all six of them are now together and they are able to fight to the fullest. I mean, n not really the fullest. That, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, it's nice that they are together, but... And Kiryuki Shirabe and Maria can fight without a problem. But they still can't use the... the Ignite module, so... Sure. It's piercing it.
Oh, it's going to repel it. Damn. This weapon, though. Wait, it's like that uh, toy, right? Need to, like... Throw the ball up or something and try to catch it with... That sort of an hammer. They're actually going to use it. Yeah, it's not going to work. Damn. Yeah, brighter tomorrow for you, maybe, not for the ones who die. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Hmm. I mean, this is probably still affecting her hearing those things. And Ibiki is right, like. They want a world where, like, no one gets crushed or, or anything, but. They're trying to crush people to get there, like, doesn't make sense. Hmm. They're going to use that. It's like everything from before happened for a reason, for this Illuminati. Are they going to make some some upgrades? She's going to upgrade it to overcome that the power from the alchemist.
Hmm, I still remember Miku <laughs> thinking about winning Ibiki with food. Like making Ibiki love her even more and stuff. Hmm. She said the thing. Oh, damn. When these things were happening. Man, that's so sweet. It's like more... Showing a lot more about them, like how... They came to be so attached to each other. Oh... That's really beautiful. I mean, Ibiki, she had to be really strong, and Miku, Miku, realized that she was suffering a lot, but still, was always, like, she's always trying to help people, uh, Ibiki, even when she's suffering and she needs help as well. She's really impressive. That's a lot of books. Oh. Confidential. Oh, it's when they removed. The Gungnir fragments from her body. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know. It feels like it's happening again, like... These girls... Wishing for something, but... This guy not really... Thinking about... Doing it. Just feels like he has different plans. Plans they don't know about, these girls.
Is that actually going to... Help in this situation? Hmm... That could work. Yeah, some really <laughs> complex stuff. It's the full stone. <laughs> oh my god. And that's going to stick. <laughs> and it's quite something that Ibiki's waste is going to be the key to upgrade those. <laughs> This is where this fight was happening. Oh, those two are here already. Out of nowhere. Oh, here you can Shirabe going to join. Or at least Kirika for now. I always assume they. They're going to fight together. She's like the cutest Reaper there is. <laughs> it's hard to imagine one without the other. It's like they they're meant to be together. Oh damn. Yours, I mean, just because she dodged doesn't mean you're not at fault. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they have no idea about that, so... I just love how they keep calling it that. Ooh! And I really want that weapon. Their duet song was... Wasn't still is. Like, was my first favorite, I guess. And still is. Along with Carol's superb song.
Is there going to be a new one between them? There it is. It's funny how these two powers are quite similar. Shirabe isn't the other one. I really love when she does that, the big wheel. Hmm. Oh, damn, that's really cool. Damn, they did it. It, it broke. Her weapon. They retreated. And it's always so so awesome to see these these two fighting together. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that full stone works. That's the ritual. She's just like a... Sacrifice someone. I wonder what she's going to choose. Hopefully the later. Yeah, this episode made me think a lot about this. Like, these three girls' connection with Adam. I don't want to believe St. German is going to... to fool one of her, her comrades and make... One of them sacrifice for this. But yeah, it feels a lot like um, some of the previous situations. Like they're trying to achieve a goal, and it's not always a bad goal, like the overall picture, but the way to get there, that's the problem. Like they want this perfect world where no one gets crushed and stuff, like the perfect world. But if you're going to crush everyone to get to that to get to, to that part of the plan, just doesn't make sense, so Yeah, hopefully this is alchemists will realize this is wrong and that Adam is most likely not even not even like a, I don't know how to explain this he obviously doesn't care about them like to, to even ask this uh, of Saint German for her to pick one of the other two um, to, to be a sacrifice for this uh, it really shows that um, he doesn't care so uh, I also believe that um, his plans are really different from what these girls uh, uh, think so at some point uh, I'm expecting uh, um, these girls to um, not go along with this um, anymore, but uh, I don't know how uh, things will happen, so I will have uh, to wait and see. 
Um, and yeah, it was also really funny to see that um, Ibiki's uh, way, so that thing from before, when the, they, they were removing uh, um, the fragments from um, her body, um, it's, it's really funny to see that that waste is um, like about to be the key to fight against um, these alchemists and to uh, pretty much uh, nullify the Philosopher's Stone power. So uh, that way they would be able to use um, the Ignite module. So I don't know if it's, if it's going to work or not. That's what they uh, hope for at least. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really funny as well that they kept calling it the full stone, so it was a bit mean for Ibiki, but uh, it's like, um, I don't know, it's just some fun moments between them, I'm sure that Ibiki isn't uh, like going to mind that much. Um, and yeah, I also really enjoyed that moment um, with Miku, because um, like Miku and Ibiki have been uh, like really close friends for... Uh, for a really long time, like since the first season, um, but they never showed um, something like this, right? So the first, uh, or like the moment when they first uh, met each other, so with uh, Miku having these um, like these emotions uh, in her, so uh, not wanting to be on, um, like not not what not wanting to see anyone's back, so she always wanted um, to like. Um, be above um, everyone else and stuff. Um, but when she met Ibiki, um, it's like uh, that really changed her. Like she was, um, she realized that, uh, I don't know, like she saw Ibiki there suffering and with all of those uh, like really mean things written on her briefcase as well. Um, and um, Ibiki was still um, caring more about helping others, so that's definitely something that um, that eats you, and uh, like just like what happened uh, with Miku, um, and uh, it's it's just really impressive. I mean, how could you not uh, like um, think differently uh, about uh, Ibiki uh, after seeing something like that? Like. She was, uh, Ibiki has always been really strong to deal with all of these bad things and still uh, care more about um, the others than um, herself. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice to see the start of this bond and uh, what made um, Miku become so close to Ibiki. Um, and yeah, now I, I'm really curious to see what else is going to happen, so I want to see if this, um, this new, like, this upgrade that Elfline wants to, uh, to make, uh, if it's going to work or not, um, and also what's going to be St. German's decision about, um, uh, um, Adam's request, so definitely can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen, so hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.